Closer to home now, do you think you may have an inaccurate water bill? If you live in the Coppers Cove area, that is a possibility. After some people complained about bills that were unusually high or that covered odd months, in our new initiative called Verify, we sent Channel 6 News reporter Andrew Moore to figure out if your water bills are accurate. He joins us now with more. Andrew. Chris, after a water bill complaint, we checked the Coppers Cove Facebook page and found more people asking questions about their bill. But it was the answers that really caught our eyes. One city response said ratepayers are currently paying for a bill that for both February and March. Another response said the March bill would have only covered January. So are these bills behind or could some of the statements be inaccurate? Well, I went to Cove to find out. This is my water bill. Crystal Rollison lives on a budget. So when the city sent her a bill for over two months of water usage this month, she was understandably concerned. That's $100 that takes away from groceries and electricity bills and gas in the car. But the bill had some other inconsistencies too. There were different charges. But I've never seen a rubbish service or a storm, a storm water charge. What are the questions that you would like us to ask the city about this? Basically just why they doubled everything and made us pay more and what these extra charges that they listed are. So that's what we did. I sat down with city PIO Kevin Keller to see if he could make sense of the situation. First off, why are people paying for two months? They'll look back through their bills. They'll see that one of those months they did not receive a bill from the city. And this bill actually covers uh, February and March. You can actually see the bill plan in the presentation the city gave at an early April town hall meeting. You see that the April bill corresponds to these two months and the December bill is actually these three green months right here. The November bill never came out. The thing is, there are seven variations of the city's utility billing cycle, so your bill might have slightly different dates. The good news is billing should be back to normal in May. But what about the second question concerning the different charges? It turns out the stormwater charge is just the old drainage charge and the rubbish service is the old trash service. But does that mean all the bills are accurate? Well, it turns out that there is another issue. And if they show a past due amount that they made payment on, they need to contact Fathom. It turns out the city has outsourced water billing services to an Arizona based company called Fathom. And it's possible the payments made in the last month are not registering. Uh, there is a chance that a payment that may have been made in the transition was not posted to the account. And that chance was high enough to happen to Keller himself. So if that happens to you, you will have to contact Fathom to get it fixed. So to recap, for those who received a bill in Coppers Cove this month and asked the question, is my water bill accurate? Yes, we can verify that. Yes, it is accurate. If the amount seems Odd, however, it was not like twice the normal amount. You may need to probably contact Fathom about your last payment and make sure that they have it. We will have the contact information for you at KCENTV.com. Chris? All right.